So first, let's say one thing. Every single one of them goddamn ugly K Swiss wearing Nikes from 1993 wearing men need to go to jail. Every single one of them that pushed the officer, laid their hands on the officer when they clearly said, hey, get your asses off these steps, need to go to jail. That's the first thing. Um, first off, my apologies to the law enforcement of Washington, D.C. Uh, you guys are just doing your job and to have a group of people that completely disrespected you guys, that's just terrible. So my my support to you guys. Even even let's just start right there. Either side or political leanings, whether you're liberal or whether you're Democrat, or, I'm sorry, Republican or whatever. You know they're playing the well. What if that was us game or what if that was us? You have those on the more left liberal side who are saying, well, you know, if that was a group of black people, you would have shot us. I can't say that because you had groups of black people all throughout the country in summertime riding and they were getting pepper sprayed and hit and stuff like that. Now, the only difference you could say in those situations was, and this is kind of where I'll say white privilege comes into play. Black people don't attack police. You, you do see some rare situations like them crazy niggas in Stockton where you will see something like that happen, but it's very rare. Those groups of black protesters that you saw who were Black Lives Matter. If you ever noticed, they might have talked mess to the police. They might throw a rock or two. They are not physically trying to throw hands and grab and put hands on the cops. They are not doing that. Um, and that's not to say, oh, they're better than Republicans or those who support Trump, because if you want to have a real conversation, all this show to me was on either side. You have people that are doing too much. Truth be told, it kind of does look worse for those who are Trump supporters, because say what you want to. Most of the people who were doing the rooting and lighting, riding throughout our country and um, in the summertime last year, they did not were they were not doing it wearing Black Lives Matter apparel and saying that they support this and support that. Most of them, a lot of them, we wouldn't have if we wouldn't have that conversation. A lot of them were just a bunch of niggas trying to get some free shit. A lot of them, when we have a real conversation, a lot of y'all, I watch y'all on Snapchat and I watch y'all on Instagram. Take that time to go do your little shit like break into stores or ride out on people because you knew for a fact the cops would not get to you. So you would take get that time to go off and get out on somebody that you had beef with. We're not going to have that conversation because we're having a different conversation right now. But with that being said, I just want to throw that in there with these men who are storming the Capitol. All of them are wearing Trump MAGA, MAGA lives hats and apparels. They would have Trump a pair of version Nikes if that was feasible. They are all wearing American flags and stuff like that. So these are all people who feel that they are united under the belief of this man is the true leader of our country. And the election was stolen from him. I can say I blame Trump a little bit for stoking the fire. But at the same time, it's like these people are all grown ass people who have jobs. A lot of them are middle class. Like y'all can't be this stupid. So somebody asked me, am I afraid? Am I afraid? No, we've been through so much more in this country than just a, a group of three to 400 people storming the state capitol, completely disrespecting our law enforcement, punching them, pushing them, even after being pepper spray, even, even after we've been through so much black people specifically. So I ain't tripping. It's just this man, you know, hey, this is where the world is at right now. Hey, I don't know what to tell you. You know, hey, welcome to America. Tell me your joys and your problems